Hey guys, Kev here, and I want to do my full review on the MBK Slayback. So this is the Monterey Bay Knives Slayback, guys, and I am going to spoil it for you. This thing is an absolute home motherfucking run, okay? Um, this thing is a Bryce Harper, bases loaded, ninth inning, down by three runs, grand salami, walk-off home run, all right? Uh, this thing is incredible. So let's jump into it. Uh, first off, thank you to Sanford Owen over at MBK. Uh, when I got the original one of this, it had a bit of a detent issue, uh, which shit happens. You have QC issues, no big deal. You just tell the company and they should take care of it. Well, guess what? He took care of it. He sent that bitch like overnight almost, I feel like. And I got it, and it is absolutely better than I could have imagined. Um, this has become one of my favorite knives. I think it's my favorite flipper that currently exists. Um, and this is a $200 knife, guys. So you don't have to be balling out to find the good shit, right? Um, so let's get into this. Aesthetically, this thing is sexy as fuck. Uh, normally, I'm not a warny guy. But this thing just slays it, get it? Um, and then it has it has the sway back handle, which I normally don't like. Now, aesthetically, I really love the look of this. Love the lines. Oh, man, that Laconico fuller. You just have a lot going on. Laconico clip. You have the rounded edge. Oh, my goodness. It's just so sexy, right? Um, when it's closed, you know, looks good. I mean, it's not the best looking knife closed. Kind of has this penguin hump here. I don't know why I said penguin, but whatever. Uh, and then when it's like half open, yeah, it looks like you're the Grim Reaper coming for you, coming for you. Oh, I dropped shut. Um, so yeah, aesthetics, beautiful. Ergonomics, so it's an interesting one. Uh, it's a smaller knife. This is a three inch blade, like most Laconicos. Uh, and it has that sway back sort of handle, but it's very minimal in that sway back feel. Um, so it kind of just fits like perfectly in my hand, um, just enough knife to give me a full grip. And then there's no jimping or anything, but I ride right up to this point right here and it just feels really good. I got super control of the knife. I do have a kind of flipper choil right here I could get into if I wanted to. Um, and that works very well. Do that at your own peril. Um, real quick, let me talk materials. You're talking titanium. So plain titanium with an inset liner lock. And then you have, uh, and sand my blade. Now, this is interesting, guys. I've never had a blade like this. So you have a 420J jacket. And then in that, the core, I guess you call it, is ZDP189. So if you see here, this line right here, anything from there down is the ZDP189. Now, I don't know if that means there's no ZDP189 up here. I think it is. I think it's just covered by 420j if that makes sense um and then this is actually 66 to 67 hrc so this thing is going to be an edge retention monster um i have heard things about the zdp 189 not being very stainless and maybe that's a reason they covered it in the 420j i will say i've had this in the ass sweat um i've had this in the booty sweat pocket multiple times i've had it like literally dripping with water that i had to wipe off or sweat i had to wipe off um i have not had any rusting issues now i haven't left it out to like you know have that happen but you know i clean my shit when i get home i check it does it have sweat on it yeah maybe i'll wipe it off right um put a little edci on it i take care of my stuff but i haven't had any issues and even when i do that with knives i still get rust sometimes so I just want to point out the materials there. Sorry. Um, so we talked ergos and aesthetics. Um, carry, you know, you got your Laconico clip and your Laconico carry, essentially. It goes in pocket. You have a little bit sticking out. I mean, it's never deep, deep carry, but it never feels like you have too much sticking out or anything like that. Carry's like a dream, honestly. Compared to like an easy C, yeah, I mean, it's a little bit taller. So you feel that maybe. Uh, but it's a very thin knife overall, you know, with the flipper. I don't know. I didn't have any issues carrying it, but um, I guess I could see, you know, if you're used to carrying a bug out or an easy C, maybe it'll be a little bit thicker, you know. 
Um, that reminds me, I did get a breakdown of this knife from Sanford Owen. So people had asked me to do a disassembly and I did not want to because of this. It's just so buttery. Uh, I just don't even want to risk fucking it up by taking it apart myself. I know that sounds stupid and it probably would be fine. Uh, but I just decided not to. But I did get a picture of the knife uh, blown out, um, disassembled. And I will hopefully remember to put that in like right here somewhere. You can see it. Um, so you can at least see how it comes apart. It was very simple, guys. It's literally a pivot. Then you have the body screws. Um, and then this scale is going to come off. And then your blade's going to come off with the bearings. And then you just clean it and then you put the bearings back in the proper order blade on and then the screws back in it's just like any knife disassembly very simple um you know go watch my um um uh, urban edc supply f5.5 disassemblies and this will essentially be the same thing so if you want to um you know have an idea you're just taking a couple screws out and then cleaning and putting it back together like a burger um, so anyway, I'll try to pop that in, uh, carry cutting guys. This thing is incredible. Okay. Um, you have a warny blade. You have a fantastic edge, very thin paper. Um, you have this ZDP 189, fantastic ergos and see it, man. It was just like shaving off shit right there. Cause I wasn't hitting it. I mean, it's just guys each fantastic okay i love it i love it i love it i love it all right cutting carry sounds i mean it smacks out of there and then it sucks it in with a nice click man it's good definitely a seven out of ten on my scale Maybe an eight. Nah, that's a seven. Come on. Huh, maybe an eight. Oh, 7.5. All right. That it matters. Action, right? Um, guys, this is one thing. This is why I love this knife. Not why. I love the cutting. I love the aesthetics. Sorry. This is the main thing I love about this knife. My favorite thing about... Jesus. My favorite thing about this knife is the action, guys. You have that Laconico flipper design with the nice jimping right there. And it just grabs you perfectly. The detent is dialed to perfection. I thought the EZC 1.5 had the best detent on a flipper like this. No. This knife is perfect. I mean, it's a little lighter than the EZC 1.5. After handling this, I thought that was too snappy to believe it. If to believe it. If you believe it or not. This I can push button, bang, right? I can do the light switch and never fail it. I have never failed this knife once, except for that time early in this review that you saw because I accidentally like pinched it, but um, never failed it on purpose, you know, like, or on accident, whatever, you know what I'm trying to say. It's just money. And for a knife that's flipper only, it needs to be perfect. Uh, it is very hard for me to keep a flipper only knife if it's not perfect in terms of detent and action. And this thing, fucking nails it closing action even better it drops man if my finger wasn't there this thing would be home it would be all the way home um for a knife that's three inches long a blade that's three inches long it is an absolute guillotine and then it's just boop. i mean literally got to give it nothing and it shakes down um yeah if i do this like it's not going to just drop shut but if I, I mean, seriously, guys, for a three inch blade, it's just like, it's ridiculous. Um, is it the best flipper I have handled in terms of action and everything? Man, the haptic is really good, guys. I have to say the haptic is really good. Some Shiro's are really good. Um, there's just something about this knife that... I can't stop myself from flicking it over and over and over. And my issue with the haptic, why I ended up selling it was it ended up being a little too strong on the detent and you couldn't lighten it. I tried. Um, so on mine anyway, 
So yes, this is the best flipper knife I've ever handled. It's $200. So let's finish this up. Value, $200 for the best flipper on the market. In my, in my fucking opinion, okay? Don't fucking freak out here. 200 bones, best flipper on the market. I think it's still available too. Go fucking get one, okay? Go get one. If you, I'll tell you what, one person and one person only, so I don't know how many people watch this and how many people may buy one because of this, but one person comes to me. If you buy it and you do not like it, I will buy it off you. I will pay you the $200 and you can have your money back and I'll take the knife. I'm only doing that for one person. So first person to contact me saying that, why am I doing this? Um, seriously, guys, it is that good. I mean, it is that good. Okay. Just get one. Jesus. What are you doing? Why are you still watching? Why aren't you on MontereyBayKnives.com? There's a link down below. You click it and then you go buy the sleigh back. Okay. And while you're at it, pick up an easy C 1.5. <laughs> All right. That's enough sales stuff. Uh, I don't work for Monterey Bay Knives, but I love you, Sanford. Um, yeah, I also love uh, Lindy and Richie, the knife modders, and they work with Monterey Bay Knives doing mods and just awesome people out there. Um, so anyway, go support Monterey Bay Knives. Go pick up a Slayback. This thing's ridiculous. And the price point just makes it so sweet. It really does. Um, and then you get the uniqueness of this blade shape and this steel and you know this action and it's just dumb not to buy one you know if you're if your hands are too big i get it that's your excuse anybody else you're an idiot i'm just kidding um all right guys that's it that's the monterey bay knives slayback just slayed that review uh that was an attempt at nick shabazz humor <laughs> i love you guys so much i hope you have an absolutely fantastic day and i will catch you Slater. <laughs>